City officials in Miami Beach are reopening South Point Park this midday in hopes to give residents some normality back, but they're hoping everyone practices social distancing or else they'll have to shut down the park again. Yep, let's get to NBC6's Julia Bag live right there with more on the reopening of South Point Park. Julia, good morning. Hi there, Roxy, Shelley. City officials have actually relaxed the rules this time around. Masks like these, they are not required to be worn as long as you maintain social distancing. At 7 a.m., the park gates open. 7 a.m., 7 a.m., yes, yes, yes. Very excited. Tarek Kareem and Rick Quackenbush can see the park from their balcony. They couldn't wait to get back here with their dog, Harry. It's nice to be there, and, you know, we're trying to be safe, as everybody should, because you never know. But we're glad it's open. Scenic South Point Park welcomed back runners, walkers, and dog lovers. Strollers, too. Just being able to be outside in the fresh air and, you know, getting our life semi back to normal. Thank you. Park attendants passed out optional masks and kept the benches sanitized while pointing visitors down one-way paths. It's kind of nice they have this open to space everybody out, and hopefully everybody respects the rules uh, and stays uh, far apart, unlike uh, the last weekend. The last time the city tried to reopen South Point Park on April 29th, there were so many violations, officials shut it back down. Open the beach! Open the beach! At nearby Loomis Park yesterday, protesters demanded beaches and other public spaces reopen. I think it's it's time. It's time people are tired of sitting in their houses. People want to get back out to the parks, to the beach. You know, it's our it's our right. It's our right as Americans to be able to go wherever we want. We we don't want to be stuck in our houses. And the park will actually be open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. One park attendant telling me people were complaining, say they wanted to be able to see the sunset. Live at South Point Park, Julia Bag, NBC6 News.